Well, boys and gals, uh, two weeks left in the NFL season. Crazy to think, right? Um, since there's no more Thursday night games, how about a Saturday triple header during all those bowl games, right? You know, um, these games are actually going to help out with seeding uh, teams that could potentially be going to the playoffs, teams that already are into the playoffs. So these three games um, supplement them with your bowl Saturday. Supplement them nicely because first off we got the Texans and the Buccaneers now the Texans need this win they need to keep on winning uh you know they they keep winning and Titans keep losing I think and the Titans lose on Sunday Texans get the AFC South um, it's plain and simple and then the did that week 17 game won't really matter all that much um but if the Buccaneers somehow start showing out somehow James Winston starts showing out and throwing touchdown passes instead of interception. Oh boy, Texans better watch out. Um, Bills, Patriots. Bills need a couple of Patriots losses to win the AFC East. Crazy, right? They need to beat the Patriots, and then they need the Patriots to lose um, in Week 17. Crazy, right? It may or may not happen. It depends, to be completely honest with you. Um, as far as the Bills winning the AFC East. It may or may not happen, but they do need to get their offense together. So do the Patriots, to be completely honest with you. Uh, Tom Brady has just not had a good season, and um, both these teams just they, they've got a lot of wins, but they've got some they got some holes in them that need to be addressed. Um, Rams 49ers caps off the Saturday slate. Um, Rams need a victory. They need two Vikings losses, and it's highly unlikely that they get those two Vikings losses. Um, but if they want to, you know, keep pace and have a, at least a chance, a slim chance, but a chance nonetheless, they need to beat the 49ers. They need to capitalize and get Jimmy Garoppolo on the ground. They need to play defense. They need to have Jared Goff, you know, actually – look like, you know, the Jared Goff that took them to the Super Bowl. Otherwise, it could be a long day, and the 49ers just need to get it back on track. They need to get it back on track. They need to do what they need to do um, just to win games. You know, they haven't been doing it. Um, like They've been doing it, but they've been doing it on and off. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, the Steelers, they're still at the number six seed right now. Um, they play the Jets, so... This could, and if they beat the Jets, you know, it almost certainly gives them a playoff spot and knocks, and knocks at least the other teams that are fighting, that are at 6-8 and eight and fighting for a playoff spot out. Um, but, you know, um, should be an easy, easy victory because it's the Jets with the Steelers, and they should lock up the final um, wild card in the AFC, thus leaving the AFC South. Um, Saints-Titans, very interesting game. Titans need a victory more so than the Saints do. Saints need a victory for seeding purposes. They need, they need a victory, you know, try and keep themselves in pace with Green Bay and Seattle and the 49ers. Hell, even Minnesota. Um, uh, but... They, they need this victory. You know, Drew Brees needs to keep keep playing at a high level, have that offense working, cooking. Um, the Titans just need to get it together. Um, not a great performance against the Texans last week, but, you know, Tannehill and company need to get it together quickly. They want a chance. And they don't get this victory, and the Texans do get the victory. It'll almost certainly, you know, have the Titans, you know, fighting for a wild card um, in Week 17 if they if they lose the Texans win this week. Panthers Colts is a game that does not really matter all that much. Colts are out of the playoffs. Panthers are out of the playoffs. Does not matter. The ultimate tank bowl, uh, Bengals Dolphins. It also doesn't matter. It doesn't really pique my interest. 
keep it off. Don't don't watch that. Lamar Jackson and, and and those Ravens taking on the Browns should be interesting. Should be interesting. Um, it's probably the only other game that I'd say, hey, watch that because <laughs> um, it's got Lamar Jackson in it. <laughs> you say none of that, but. The, but this is also one of the only two teams that beat the Ravens, uh, the other being the Chiefs. Um, so I'm curious to see how this goes. Could there be a clean sweep for the Browns? Maybe, maybe not. Browns do need a win, though, to stay alive. Um, it, it, they're, they're clinging. They're barely holding on to playoff hopes. So um, if they beat the Ravens, that'll uplift those playoff hopes even more. Um, Jags, Falcons, does not matter. Not going to lie to you. Giants, Redskins, also doesn't matter. Not going to lie to you. <laughs> Lions, Broncos, <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Does not matter. Uh, Raiders, Chargers, no. No, no, no. Does not really matter at all. Um, but the Cards, Seahawks, yes, it, it, it does matter. It really, It actually does matter for seating purposes. For the Seahawks, at least, because they need to stay at number one. Uh, dance around this one for now. Um, Sunday night is not really important um, because the Bears are already eliminated for playoff contention, and the Chiefs are probably going to be locked into that third seed. Um, so this game really doesn't matter. does not matter at all. But I'll tell you what does matter. It's the Monday night football game. On the 23rd, the Packers and the Vikings. Now, the Packers, I mean, they're, they're getting a lot closer. Remember when I said, hey, you know, five teams could potentially be the number one seed in the NFC? Um, the Vikings, they could pull it off. They could beat the Packers, you know, get to that number two seed and have some things go their way. And, and then, you know, all of a sudden, the Vikings are the number one seed in the NFC. Crazy, right? Kirk Cousins and, and company being the number one seed in the NFC. Uh, man, um, let me tell you, uh, I don't, I don't even know what this game is going to be like. Um, it looks like I may actually have to tune in because the Sunday night game is looking like utter garbage. Uh, no disrespect to the Bears, but you're already eliminated from playoff attention. You have no purpose in being the Sunday night game. I guess it's just to appease the Chicago fan base, whatever. But ultimately, the most important game to me is going to be the Cowboys and the Eagles in Philadelphia for the NFC's title, for a playoff spot, for uh, trying to get that eighth victory of the season. And the Eagles are coming in injured. They've won two chaotic games games in, in beating the Giants and the Redskins, of course. And the Cowboys have just been reeling, um, had been reeling for a long, long time, and they finally got what they needed, uh, a blowout victory against the Rams. Now, this could mean multiple things. This could mean multiple things. Um, this game right here, just this one game, um, it almost assuredly, it will at least have a team that has eight wins in the NFC uh, as far as, you know, you know that, that fourth seed is concerned. Um, all the Cowboys need to do is just win this game, and they've got it. Uh, now, the Eagles may need a little bit more help, though, to keep the Cowboys, you know, um, to keep the Cowboys out, I'd say, because, I mean, um, but... You know, ultimately, the Cowboys, all the Cowboys need to do is just win this game, to be completely honest with you. They get the season sweep, and boom, just like that. But I'm not sure if the Eagles win. I'm not sure if they completely lock up the NFC East. I'm not going to lie to you. Because, um, I mean, it would still have to come down to Week 17. It would still have to come down to, you know, the Eagles facing the Giants again, or whether it's the Redskins. I don't. Let me take a look. Yeah, they, we face the Giants, so you would have to come down to it. But that that's just all hypothetical stuff, and it's all nonsense that I just said. One of these two teams is going to win this game, 
and they're going to get the NFC East title. They might have just eight wins to end the season or nine, but it doesn't really matter. It does not matter. What, what, what matters is that they've got the title, and it's going to be one hell of a game. Let me tell you that. One hell of a game. Uh, there's not much in the 3 o'clock window, but I'd say keep an eye on the card Seahawks, too, if you want to, you know, keep your interests high um, as far as Cowboys fans and Eagles fans need to be concerned about the, the, the Seahawks game, too. So, you know, because it really it really just matches up to say that, like, hey, who in the world are we going to play? For, for both teams, anyway. So, keep an eye on those two games through 25. And you can skip out on Sunday night. Monday night, I'll, act, I'll probably be tuning in. Uh, I, You know, I hate, you know, I don't like Monday night football, but I actually might tune in this time, so who knows. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Um, week 16 is almost here. You can smell the Saturday football in the air. All sorts of football on Saturday. It's going to be great. I'm excited. So, y'all are the real MVPs. All 40 of you. And let's keep this channel growing. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep the conversations going. You know, talk to me. You know, get down in the comment section or something like that. Just, just start saying something. You know, uh, but yeah, it's going to do it for this video. Y'all take care. We'll see you guys, um, I believe, probably Sunday morning. It depends on my mood um, as we'll recap um, those bowl games from Saturday. Um, or maybe extremely late at night on Saturday. I don't know. It depends. It depends on my mood. It depends on my roommate. It depends on everything. It depends on a lot of things. So y'all take care, and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Big Boy Sports out.